What's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistic of Series. I want to take a look at Karl Morris. He was the original White Hope. That's what he was known for. Now, he was born February 23rd, 1887, out of Fulton, Kentucky. He died July 11th, 1951, Pasadena, California. Now, he stood six foot four inches and he weighed 225 to 245 pounds. He was an Irish Cherokee. He was managed by Nate Lewis. Karl Morris was a big, strong white fighter. And he could fight, but the issue was Jack Johnson was a heavyweight champion of the world, and they wanted him removed. So they were pulling everybody that they could to answer the challenge. They would call out Jim Jeffries and many other fighters. But Carl Morris would be one of the fighters that they would call out. Carl Morris would fight fighters such as Marvin Hart, who wound up becoming an interim heavyweight champion when gentleman Jim Jeffries retired. Marvin Hart had to wind up fighting Tommy Burns for the heavyweight championship strap. Carl Morris would face Jack Carroll, they call him the Sailor Man, Al Reach, Fred Fulton, Ed Gunboat Smith, Bang Levinsky, Tud Jackson, they called him James Tud Jackson, Dan Daly, Fireman Jim Flynn, Jim Flynn knocked out Jack Dempsey in the first round. And he fought several fights with Sam Langford. He would fight Jim Coffey and Jack Dempsey himself. A very durable fighter was Carl Morris. And I just wanted to expose him to you. Thanks for hanging in there with me. This is Scrap of Box, the Museum of the Forgotten Fistical Series. All great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. I want to show you some of the opponents of Carl Morris. Now, Carl Morris would be in there with Fred Fulton. Very tall, knockout machine. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Carl Morris, the original White Hope.